production is kale. Yeah, I got a question for you guys. Um, you know, I was looking through your websites, but I didn't see anything that I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> do you guys have any uh, auditioning or any auditions or casting calls for any of your commercials or anything else? Are uh, you an actor or something? Well, I'm look. Well, no, I'm not act. I do other behind the scenes. I'm a production designer for James Productions. It's low budget for me. But I was looking at just just commercial, just something to decide, you know, well. While I'm off for about another month and a half to do another movie, I was just calling this commercial just to see something else out there, just to get myself, you know, familiarized with the whole industry, commercial TV shows, I mean, movies, stuff like that. So I'm just looking around to see what's out, what's out, what's out there, and <clears throat> see if I can get something else that's, you know, my interest. So it's it's definitely in my field what I want to do. So I was just calling around different commercials, see what you guys got. Um, I'm in Kenwick in Tri City, so. I'm just calling different places to see if I can, you know, be in front of the camera and I'll you know, just doing something something way different, you know. Commercials, whatever whatever it involves, it's just something I always been wanting to do. So I was looking at your website, see if you had any casting calls or anything else you guys got auditioning for different you know, whatever you guys have so far. I don't know what you guys got going on, so I was just looking to see what you guys got, maybe any roles or any just, just see what you guys got, really. Just see what's out there. I don't know what you guys been doing or what projects you guys have. Just calling to see what you guys, you know, what's the deal, what you guys doing going on. So, I, is there any roles you guys having going on? Any auditioning or just anything else you guys got that's going on that you guys have? Okay, man. Well, you 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 should be a preacher, boy. You do a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> actually, my dad is actually. Really? So maybe I got a little bit from. No, no, he is. He's a prison jail pastor. He goes all over the place. And, well, here in Washington, he does. Maybe I have a little bit of him. <laughs> oh, dear. Just, mm. just, that's the way I am. Okay. Yeah, so I just. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's just, I'm pretty fast now. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no. I mean, we do a variety of different projects, and they, you know, when they come up, uh, if we need crew, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll find them. If we need to do all this, we don't do them on our website. Um, but, um, you know, you'll be in contact with one of our producers and, you know, they'll do yeah. all the, you know, mm-hmm. produce casting. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, okay. do this, man, if you want to, you know, be in our connections, send in your uh, information to us. Hold on one second. I'm getting a call. Um, oh, they just hung up. Okay. All right. I was going to say, send in your information to us, and then that way we'll have your information. And then when we're looking for something, um, we can yeah. reach out to you. Do you have a resume or something, or something? As yeah, I have a uh, demo reel or something. Have to, like, Headshots. No, uh, demo reel. I haven't done a demo reel yet. No, I just have. I just been doing my own thing. Been doing my my <clears throat> local production, sports productions here, uh, doing audio and camera for them. And are you people. looking to do other uh, camera work, or you just want? You said in front of the camera. No, 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 no. You want to do some acting? No, I'm see. No acting. I like, get in front of the camera. That's, that's just what I want to get out there more. Uh, I mean, I do it my own uh, here with my uh, production guys. You know, I do extras for them. It's no big deal. And then we'll do. I'll do a little small roles, but nothing major. You know, so I just in the meantime, uh, this next move we're gonna do is just gonna be another month and a half. I'm like, come on, dude, that's just crazy. So we're supposed to start filming this month or you in March. You a feature? But, uh, yeah, we have different ones. Uh, this what last one we did in November with Judy Norton. Um, she was the writer of the movie. Um, I don't know if you realize with her. She's one of the Waltons back in the 70s. So it was her we did with, and it was great. It was nice. It was something, you know, more exciting to do. But uh, we just got that done. It's called Inclusion Criteria. It won't come out for like a couple more months, but... You know, if we do a movie this March, say it again. Come out where? Where do you come you out? You said it's not coming out until March. Where, where is it coming out? In theaters? No, 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 no. The next. DVD? No, there's certain theaters that's coming out to. You know, I don't do all the distribution. I don't do all that. I just, you know, when they tell me, like, I just ask them, what are you guys going to do? You know, all the editing. I don't do the editing. I just do the production designing. That's all I, that's, that's my area. I don't do the, the, the editing. Design. I don't do the music. Yeah. Get out, yeah, I just do all the scene setups and all that stuff. Have my props and wardrobe, hair and makeup people do you know, their thing. So, uh, yeah, that's what I do. But I don't do all the post productions. I don't do all the just distributing, you know, whatever they, th- they say. Well, the movie might come out in uh, March or April or something. Like, oh, great, that's nice. You know, that's that's cool. 
Yeah. You know, I don't do all that post production. That's not my area. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's just the next movie we're gonna do won't be till like April. So like, come on, dude. You know, that's, that's quite a while. You know, but that's just things always get pushed up, pushed back. That's just how it goes. But yeah, I just been thinking of just trying to get out there more. Yeah, get some more work and and uh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, just just get out there. Just. Just basic what kind in general. Of, be, well, what what do you bring to the table? You, you know, in terms of you know, if you say you don't have a resume, you don't have a headshot, you don't have a real. No, no, no. Uh, I have a resume. Yeah. I just have it on my USB. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, send your yeah. resume. Then that way we can know how we can utilize it. I mean, because if we need, you know, uh, production design, or, or uh, we we can u- utilize you on that for set design. Mm-hmm. We're actually looking at building yeah. a set um, uh, for a music video. Uh, we're trying to get mm-hmm. approval, okay. hopefully, on this week. So we we do need mm-hmm. someone, you know, that understands that. So send your information. I can get get into our producer's hands. Yeah. So maybe we can get you some work. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. You know. Yeah. More often. Also, there, man, you didn't call it. me by accident, man. I'm a Christian. If you went to our website, you'll see I'm a believer. Of, uh, uh, and I always like to ask people two questions. Uh, you, you ready? Yeah. All right. The first question is, do you know for sure if you're going to heaven? Yeah, I'm a Christian myself. I go to my triple C over here in uh, Richmond. Been doing mm-hmm. that for, went back now for a good four years now. I mean, I've been off and on in the past, no, but past four years solid. So, yeah, okay. it's, it's good to see another Christian out there. Not many, not many people out there that I meet or talk to, sadly, <clears throat> that's not Christian. So, yeah, no, I'm a Christian myself. I non-denomination as me so i mean that yeah it's it's great to meet other christians dude. that's good yeah you awesome. know it's really it's really yeah. really good yeah so i mean i have faith in god do what he wants to do and lead in the right direction that's great yeah. you know but uh you know sometimes he wants to take us he wants us to have to take that step of faith hey do your part and i'll do mine you know so mm-hmm. it, it'll happen time will tell you know but i mean he'll, he'll do his thing but yeah it's good to see a, to hear another christian especially in the <laughs> film or tv industry not many, yeah. not many Christians in the TV industry. They want to do their own thing, and they just have their own beliefs, which you know, that's just what they what they believe in. They they don't believe in, you know, all born again or something. I had a conversation with a guy talking about born again. Oh yeah, some guy's born again. I'm like, what's funny about that? He's like, how is he born again? Yeah, you're not gonna understand because the natural man would not understand things that you know the Bible says. It just, it just you're not gonna understand it. You're not born again. It's basically spiritually you're you're newborn. Not physically. People just look at it. Oh, how can a person be reborn? Mm-hmm. You're not looking at it that way. You're looking at it your own way. You know, it's just you know it's hard to explain. Some people they, they don't they don't see. They just think of Bible out of context. Yeah. It's just like oh well, it says here this and that. You're taking it out of context. You're not even really reading it behind it. You're just looking yeah. at it and judging it. You know. That's true. So it's good. So, it's good to hear another Christian man. That's really good. Really the second question I ask is, do you know for I mean, why should God let you into heaven? Why should she let me into heaven? Why should God let you into heaven? Why should God let me into heaven? Um, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is I think people would probably say because I'm a good person, but I don't do being good. You know, there's a saying that it's not what you've done, but what's been done for you. So it's like, I like that one. Um, why should they mean to heaven? Well, I don't know why it shouldn't be. It's more of a, it's more of I choose to, you know, believe in God. Not just believe, but be in the Word with Him. Not, it's not much of praying. It's not much of just going to church. That's fine. That's like, that's basic and normal. But I think it's just because I believe in God. Not only that, but I choose to serve Him and be for Him. Be all, be 100% all the way with Him. Not just half stepping, being lukewarm. It's more of a, you know, being all the way, you in or you're out. So, there's only way to, one way, one, one way to go to heaven, that's through Jesus. So, I have Jesus in my heart and I go all the way for him and I know that when he comes back, he's going to take people that don't, are not with him or people that are with him. So, but the dead in Christ are going to rise first and then, you know, take the ones that, are the ones that are serving him. So, you know, that's just my answer. I because I believe in Jesus Christ. I have my heart Savior. That's I go all the way with Him. There's no half stepping. So, oh, okay. yeah. So yeah. I don't know how to answer that question. I just never <laughs> heard it at that point. You know, yeah. it's like a different no, way of. It's a good question because it allows you to really ask. 
man, why should God let me in? And the answer is found in his word, the King James Bible. So that's the word of God. Mm-hmm. And Jesus said, right. man, should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So the word mm-hmm. is important that we use. And then Paul and Silas were asked that same question or similar question uh, when um, the, by the Philippian jailer in Acts 16. And, 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 and it says, and brought them out and it says, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved mm-hmm. and thy house. Yeah. So you're right, it's not about what you do. It's about who you believe in. If you believe on Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, that's what saves you because he already did the salvation. When he said it is finished, it was yeah. finished for the whole mm-hmm. world. So in order to receive that salvation, as John 1 and 12 tells us, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. you got to get the name right. It's got to be Jesus. It's not Yahweh. It's not Yeshua. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. any of these other names. It's not Jehovah. It's not Amen Ra. It's n- none other name, for mm-hmm. there is none other yeah. name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. And so that name, Jesus, so you got to believe on the Lord Jesus, the person and the name and the death, burial, and resurrection that he died on the cross and God raised him from the dead um, in three days as is prophesied in the scriptures. And then Jesus also said in John 8 when he was talking to the uh, Pharisees, is it 8 or is it 6? Let me see. Um, yeah, 8. Um, I like to quote it right. Um, then said the Jews in 8:22 says, "Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself because he saith, Whether I go, you cannot come?" And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath; I am from above. Ye are of this world; I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am He, ye shall mm-hmm. die in your sins. So we must believe that He is He, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Jesus is actually the Godhead. Jesus is, is uh, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So we must believe that Jesus is God. Jesus died and rose from the grave and believe on the name Jesus, and that's how you get into heaven. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and, it's, and one thing that crossed my mind is people always say, um, I'm a good person. I hear that so many times. I think it might be the number one I hear most of the time. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't go to heaven. Well, it's not. No, I mean, and I have to memorize the scriptures. And you know, I have to, like, you know, read my scriptures and memorize them. I used to have these cards, and I have to, you know, you know memorize them. And I was in Romans, but the same is, you know, like that. The, it's, it's not. A good person. It's not your good deeds. It's not. It's not all that. It's not. Oh, I'm a good person. I'm this and that. No, it's not about that. You know, you can be a good person, but if you don't have the relationship with Christ, then what do you have? I mean, you either with the world or you with God. Which no, one are see, you? There's no half. It's not, yeah, it's not about the relationship. See, so God is the one that He says again. It's about who you believe in. You see, yeah. to as and, many as yeah. received him, to them gave he power mm-hmm. to be become the sons of God. So, you know, um it's yeah, I think it's also it's like uh I like how this this was said with Billy Graham back in his prime days. <clears throat> I like how he said it. It's not it's it's like you can have the Bible in front of you and the way he was saying it was like, I believe the Bible, I believe in Christ. He's like, that's not so much a believing as well. It's also receiving. If you receive Christ in your heart and you go forward walking with him, <clears throat> you know, then you you jump to the next level. I can believe the Bible's in front of me. I believe it's there. Yeah, but have you opened it? Have you received it? Have you been reading it? Have you been applying it in your life? Have you been doing it? You know, it's a big different story. Yeah. People yeah, would say, oh, I pray. It's not much of praying. Yeah, more than what, you, what you're saying, and Billy Graham is actually, you know, not, he doesn't preach the true gospel. See, that's a works base. See, when you're saying, or actually believing is receiving, 
Um, but when you're saying that you actually open the Bible, it's not about believing the Bible. You have to believe the gospel, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's not not the whole Bible. You don't have to believe that Moses actually walked the earth in order to be saved. That doesn't save you. Jesus is the one that saves you. So it's believing. Yeah. And that's what Romans, and that's what Romans, well, this, this is what it says in Romans 3. It says, God forbid, let God be true, but every man a liar. So instead of quoting Billy Graham, it's best to quote scripture. And if you look at, if you look at Romans 10, it says 10, uh, 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. So you become righteous by who you believe in. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, yeah, I believe in the be- and believing. Believing is a huge part. No, you that's, that's the only. That's it's, the only part. It's a, it, you have no. To well, it. I, you know, I think it's. I think it's also like I know the Bible says it's great, and that's exactly what it is. What it is. Yeah. But I think. I think it's like in, the way I the way I look at it as well is. In with a lot of people, to what God's word says. No, no, not addition. No, what I'm seeing. What I'm saying is that out there in, in, in general, when I see people. You know, I well, talk I'm not people. talking about people. You know, I'm talking, yeah, between you and I. No, no, no. Well, I, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about quoting my own self or nothing else. I'm just saying in basic general when I see everybody else. Well, I, I look can't at talk it as, about everyone. We can't, I can't talk about everyone. No, no, no. You and I talk. No, no, no. So what, what I'm no. trying to get at, my question was to you. What I'm saying, you no, know, well, basically what I'm at. saying is that like, we can talk the Bible all day, but I'm saying is like in general and out there, when I see, I'm a visual person. So I visualize everything. Even in my work, I have to visualize. That's, That's part of imagination. Me. But what I'm saying is like, you know, what I'm trying to say is like, when people say they believe, you know, I think they, they can misinterpret that. <clears throat> it's about what, they I'm misinterpret- not worried about what people say. It's about what do you say? Do you believe? It's not about what people say. I of course, what I told you, I already told you I believe in it. Of course I believe in it. There's no doubt I believe it. I've been believing. What I'm saying is like, I look at, you know, how, I start thinking about a lot of people can misinterpret that. Well, a is, lot of people misinterpret a lot do. of stuff. Yeah, but it's not about that. Of course about they you. do. But well, what I'm you, talking about believe. But you haven't confessed. You, know, you haven't confessed that you you're going to heaven based off of believing on Jesus Christ alone. You talked about your works. You talked my about works. I didn't say my works. I think I told you that it's not about what you do, right? It's not about that. It's not no, about you, being a good person. Yeah, but it's you not said even about being a good person. Yeah, you said it's not about being a good person, but you also said that you go to church and you and you do all of these things. You you were you weren't based off things? of your belief in Jesus Christ. No, hold on, doing, doing what things in you church? Said I don't you you would memorize scripture. Um, yeah, but that's, that has nothing to do with what I was talking about now. I'm just, I'm just well, let me ask you that I question think again. What I'm saying well, let me, okay, different. well, let me ask you that question. Why should God let you okay. in heaven? Why she let me to heaven? You know, I think that question. You know, I'm looking at it now. <clears throat> that question is more. Let me see. Why should he let me to heaven? I think it's more like. Um, gee, I mean that that question just puzzles me. It's it gets, It's more like I need to be with God. Period. Right? You need to be with God, or you are with God. There's, there's no halfway. So why should he let me in? Well, if I believe in all this stuff and I walk forward with it and I apply it in my life and I apply it every day and I receive Jesus in my heart as my Lord and Savior and I walk with him, I I mean, I, I continue to walk with him, not with the world, then if I'm going to go to heaven, it's through Jesus and I believe in Jesus and I receive Jesus, like I was saying before. It's yeah, not but just what you about just said, you said walking with Him. That's a work. You're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you you're talking about a works. If mm-hmm. you do this, if you do this, Jesus did it on a cross without you. He doesn't need you. Mm-hmm. He doesn't need any of us. So the thing is, mm-hmm. it's not about what you do. It's about what He did for you. It's a gift. For by grace are yeah. saved through faith, and that not of you. You know, it's kind. Of, it's, it's I think it's also like someone believes in Christ, someone believes in God, but they don't do anything about it. 
it's, it's not, not so much about, a belief. It's not about what you do about it. It's about belief. It says for no, grace. Believe me, that's grace. Do you, okay, I got a question for you. Do you go to church? I, no, the Bible tells us that we are the do church. Do you go to church? That's a that question go I'm asking you. No, no do you go to church? This is a question. And I'm answering it. I'm saying the Bible calls us the church. I, it's not a place that you go to. It's the people. No, it doesn't need believers. to be a place. But yeah. if God's presence is there and the Holy Spirit God's is there, God's presence is right here. He want calls go? me the temple of God. You know, in the, 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 the Bible does say, in me. In the, in the Bible does say that Jesus, Jesus, um, I gotta find that scripture. Um, when Jesus, were, Jesus, he was saying that he says, Jesus generally he he every he attended the synagogues. Okay, when he attended the synagogues, and he's Jesus, it's kind of like you know he's born as a man, but also 100 percent man, 100 percent God. So like he had to go through uh, as a child learning all these things. It wasn't just the back of his head. He knows scriptures, he knows everything. He actually had to go. Learn about these things, and he attended the synagogue. If Jesus attended the synagogue, why shouldn't you? Well, synagogue is is a Jewish tradition that has nothing to do with us. That's not even so. A you, you don't go to church, so what I'm saying, right? No, no, no. Wait, wait a second. First of all, the scripture doesn't. Well, you didn't answer my question. Still, I'm I am. I, that's what I'm saying. It, there is no church to go to. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't go to church. We are the church, and actually, church. We are the church, but it's also good to have a plant the church. You ever in the Bible where you plant? Yourself in the church? No, it doesn't say that. Some people don't, say don't that. plant themselves in the church. No, it doesn't say you know, that. That's okay, okay, which Bible are you t we reading? I mean, which Bible the are you? The King James Bible have? from the get go. It doesn't okay, say that. Okay, so you don't have so you don't have the. Well, wait, the hear me out, man. Where it says, you'll hear the answer. In the Bible? There, it doesn't. No, it doesn't say that. You probably talk about okay, Hebrews ten really? twenty five. Yeah, it doesn't. I, that's what I'm saying. If you okay. hear me out, then you then you will learn what it's saying. No, well, it never calls us the church. And the church, I did hear you out. I answered your question. Is you're asking yeah, go to you church? Yeah, you know what? There is no go to church. church. Though I mean, church is always a good thing as well. It's not about no. The, the word of God it's not about is. All that. It says it's men shall not live by exactly. bread alone, but by the word of we God. Are the not, not the we, church. We are the children. We are the we are the you know God's people, and that's great. But it's also good to have a building to have everybody come in. It's the yeah, church is gathering. in the house. No, it doesn't. Okay, no, it so doesn't. let me ask you a question then. Then you ask you two questions. Let me ask you another question then. Okay, so if huh? if there's but a listen church to my answer here, right? though. Listen to my answer. Well, though. I'm not even not even done my question. I know I'm saying, but listen to I mean, my I answer when answer you know know it. it. I know, but listen okay. to my answer, and I listen to you because you do a lot of talking. So let me finish okay. talking though. Don't cut me off. Okay. Go ahead. And then I'll ask you the question afterwards. Okay. No, no, no. I said you can ask me the question, but listen to my answer. That's what I'm saying. Because I listen to your answer. You do a lot of talking. Okay. I listen to you. And, yeah, so let and me that's finish no my problem point. with talking. Is, is there a problem right. with talking too much? Or is... No, no. I'm saying it's a problem when you don't let me talk. So let me talk once I answer your question. Go ahead and answer your question, but let me talk. Thank you. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know that. They, I thought I was referring to a different question I asked. Like, um, no, no. I said go ahead and answer your question, oh, okay. but let me talk. But let me talk <laughs> okay, no, once, no, once no, I no, answer no, the no, question. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. No, I apologize. Um, yeah. Um, my question is: um, if there's a church out there, right? Just a good Bible-based church, right? Okay. And, and, and there's no perfect church ever in the world. No, not one. Not because no one's perfect. Period. So, let's say there's a, a church around in your area, right? And they have, you know, a, a, a Sunday thing going on. It's great. And if there, and if God's presence is in there, and the Holy Spirit is present in there, would you want to attend it just to be in there and see what's going on? Well, you know, if there's, if there's so much, you know, going on, you feel the Holy Spirit, and it's, just, it's always the greatest feeling, really. And then you have God's presence in there. Wouldn't you want to be in there? Uh, no, and I'll answer it. So let me answer the question. Mm -hmm. And I answered okay. your question, and I said okay. no. And so the reason why I'm saying no, it's not a church because Jesus said, I will build my church. There is a perfect church, the church that Jesus is building. And that's a spiritual church. It's the perfect church. It's the body of believers. We are the temple of God. The spirit of God is in me. I don't have to go anywhere to experience the spirit of God. He's in me. And he abides with me. He seals my salvation. And he's my comforter. He will never leave me or forsake me. And so he's with me forevermore. So I don't need to go anywhere to experience it. The only thing I need to do is go to his word. For the word of God is quick and powerful and more sharp than any double-edged sword. And so I go to his word daily. 
And we, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. We don't go to a location. The church is us. We are the temple of God, our bodies. And he said, don't you know it's your bodies? And so let me read the scripture to answer your question. Why I wouldn't be unequally yoked with non-believers in these buildings where these pastors are telling you invite your non-believer in. Because it tells you opposite in scripture. It says, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath life with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So God tells me, opposite of what these men tell me. Let God be true and every man a liar. So I'm following God's word. I'm coming out from among them. I'm separate. I am the temple of God. I don't have to go to a building. God is, resides in me because I believe on his son, Jesus Christ. Did that answer your question? Okay. Yeah, well... <clears throat> I attend church and it's great. And it's not about the building and we are the church, right? Exactly. But going to church, there's nothing wrong with going to church. There's nothing yes, wrong with going in there are and there hearing, the there? Going hearing the word. Going and hearing the word is there? great. Worshiping there... is, 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 you know, intimacy with God and it's great. Putting your hands up, putting any, just, it's just beautiful. Worshiping is, is probably there? my favorite thing in there. Yeah. Worshiping is my, probably my favorite. This is the great songs. I mean, it's awesome and a beautiful song. And you feel the Holy Spirit all around it. It's great. Having God's yeah. presence in there is just, it's just the greatest feeling. Really. It really is a good feeling. And to have everybody yeah. come together and it's great to hear him about the word and, and the word of God, which is awesome. I wouldn't worship, but it's also revelation as well. You know, and it's, it's always a good thing to be around other Christians as well. I mean, you can go, you can not go to church and believe and, and that's all fine and great. It's also too, it's just, Receiving Christ in your heart, Lord and Savior, that's another thing as well. Receiving Him in your heart, believing, believing that it is is a very yeah, it's very of course that's 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 there. Believing is part of what we need to do for Christ for God. Period. Believing without believing, what do you what do you believe? What do you believe in God or you don't? Or you, you believe going to, uh, you know staying with God? And when I say staying with God, I mean you continuously walk with Christ, not walking you know in your own ways and doing your own thing. It's not much of that. It's having that Christ in you, living in you, you know, breathing in you, and you're walking with him. And that's great. That's, that's following the word, reading the word of God, and faith comes by hearing the word of, God, all the word of God, and that's fine. You know, but what I'm saying is also is that people, when I say, hey, you're talking about the Bible, and that's fine, great. Nothing wrong with that. But when I bring other things, you don't like it. I mean, I don't know why. It's just, I'm just telling you how I see things in the world is it's sadly, that people just, you know, I think I look at more of the people too as well. Like, it's sad because I want them to, not just me, but God as well, but want them to turn the right path. And, and what I hear a lot is, is it's really sad. It's like, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. But uh, I, haven't, I haven't been with him. I haven't, I haven't been talking to him. I haven't been close to him. Why is that? Oh, well, uh, and they'll say their own, their own explanations. But it's a trip how they believe it, and they say they believe it, but they're walking in the world and doing what the world does. So it's like you believe it, but you're not walking with them, and you're not doing anything about it. You're not continuously reading the Bible, the Word of God. You're not reading it. You're not applying to it in your life. You know, you're not doing anything about it. You just you believe in something, but you're not going after it. It's It's a big difference to me. Me receiving it and believing it, applying in it in my life, it's, I'm not perfect, no. But believing in it is a big, huge part, but I was also receiving it. And the Bible says it's all about believing. And that's very true. But I kind of wonder, you know, and there's something I want to ask, um, 
um, from people I, I know, uh, some different pastors, just see their, their, what they also think and what they think and think. But it's not about what they think as well. It's just, it's just curiosity. How different pastors or different people, when they say, oh, well, this and that, they have different beliefs, they have different thoughts and this and that, but that's crazy. Well, I believe what the Bible says. That's what I believe, period. But it, it's, a, it's, a, it's weird to me. It's crazy to me how, you know, it's all about believing and all that, and that's great. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. But it trips me out how people believe in God, but they don't walk with Him. You believe in God, but you're, you're not doing anything about it to, to keep going and, and applying God in your life and make Jesus the center of your life for everything that you do. It's a, it's it's a, it's crazy how they believe it, but they don't walk with them. Okay. And there's only yeah, so, only one way to heaven. That's Jesus. Yeah. So well, that's just me. That's just close yeah. to me. Yeah. Well, that's why I said, "What must you do to be saved?" It says, "Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ." It doesn't say receive. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say accept. It doesn't say walk with. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ in order to be saved. <clears throat> so that's what you must know, what the Scripture says, what God's Word says. It's not about going to a, a building, a business that's calling itself a church. Those are 501c3 businesses. They're not, that's not God's church. That's actually the Antichrist's front. That's what he's going to use. And you said you love the worship. Well, he's going to receive worship in those buildings. That's the Antichrist's church. That's not God's church. God's church is a spiritual church. It's not a church built with hands. As Acts, uh, I think, uh, 4 or 5 talks about. It's not, it's not, it, so mm-hmm. God does, does not reside in temples built with hands. So he resides mm-hmm. in us. We are the temple of God as body of believers. But my challenge to you, man, is to listen to what has been preached to you. Because what you have confessed is your walk and not your belief. I know you mentioned belief plus your walk. It's for by grace <clears throat> you say through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so the reason why God had you call me is so you could hear that message, man. And you, you're you going about religious ways of trying to uh, get closer to God or get saved or whatever. And that's not, it, it's in Romans 10 it says, it's the same thing Paul. Paul was a religious man. He actually was a Pharisee. And he followed all of the practices of the scriptures, but he would he had to be converted. It says, "Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. My prayer is that you might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. You have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. See, God's knowledge is not man's knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness." See, God's righteousness is not walking with God. That doesn't make you righteous. For without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's not your walk. God doesn't look at your walk. He looks at you who walk by you faith, believe in. Not by sight, so a believer walking. walks by faith. A believer mm-hmm. walks exactly. by faith, not by sight. Exactly. But before you save, that's a, a saved person mm-hmm. walks by faith. He doesn't mm-hmm. look at your walk to save you. It says, in going about to establish your own faith. righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. So to walk by faith, you have to believe on Jesus Christ. Exactly, not but a, you still walk not, by faith. No, but not for salvation. That's what I'm saying. In order to okay, be saved, you know, there's, you there's one scripture though that I want to actually just, just uh, ask to... Um, 238, and Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, to have that gift of the Holy Spirit is very important, because when Jesus got baptized, they had the Holy Spirit uh, be upon him like a dove. Without the Holy Spirit, you, you don't have that kind of power. You don't have that kind of... Uh, um, when you're when you're walking and you see someone you're in need and you talk to them, and having that having that Holy Spirit is what helps you uh, to preach to someone, to help someone, and to pray over them, or to heal them, or whatever it is about them. But receiving the Holy Spirit, that's one thing people don't understand as well. To receive yeah. the Holy Spirit is a very big key as well, because no, Jesus received yeah. the Holy Spirit when he got baptized. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this receiving is, is a big thing. 
It, it, it is a big thing, and so it's not just about believing. I think it's also about receiving. No, receiving no. the Holy Spirit. No, That's, no, no. You, you don't believe you, in that? You, yeah, you just You, you don't just believe take, in the receiving just, the Holy Spirit? You just took that out of context. It's just like you no, said. No, it's not out of context. No, I read the I read the book Acts, and I like Acts, actually. It's a pretty good chapter. I know, and um, I read Acts, too. book, I like so, Acts. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, well, you know, you're wrong, just man. believing well, is a good thing. Well, it's, it's the only yeah. thing that gets you saved. So, yeah. if you let me finish, man, you, you said your point, and I'm going to correct you where you're wrong. It's just... It's well, just, you're wrong, you know, man. It's, 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 it, he, he didn't. He didn't say yeah. about being saved here. So just listen to it. Then Peter said unto okay. them, "Repent. All Repent right, does not ahead. save you. Repent does not yeah. save you. <clears throat> and be baptized. Baptize, baptism doesn't save you. Every one of them, you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's not salvation. Okay, Jesus so takes we'll away do. your sins." And you shall receive yeah, the gift of the Holy that, Ghost. And that's also you need to do. Repent and receive Jesus. You, you no, know, it doesn't say which, that to which, be saved. Which, uh, which Christianity are you, are you in? Are I'm you reading the King James Bible. It just says right there. No, the no, I'm in the Bible. It doesn't say anything you, about being saved. You're, you're so you Christian don't believe Acts 16, 30, and 31? Do, so what, what must you do to be saved? Does it say believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and thou shalt be saved? Or does it say repent and be baptized and receive the Holy Ghost and then you'll be saved? So you're not you don't you're taking it out of context. You don't understand scripture, and that's what I'm saying. Here, Peter was talking to nothing but the Jews. Jews require a sign. That's why they needed the sign of baptism. Where Jews require a sign, Greeks seek after wisdom, and the wisdom is the word of God. And so, what must you do to be saved is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, not. Repent and be baptized. It didn't say anything about salvation in that verse. It's not okay. talking about salvation. It's talking about remission of sins. So if you <clears throat> you have cancer and it goes into remission, you still have cancer. It's just the effects of cancer are remiss. They aren't as prevalent. There's, it's still there. It can always come out of remission, just like sins can come out of remission. Sin is always in your flesh. It's in your members. So when your flesh dies... Then you'll go to, and you're separate from the body. Then you'll go to be, um, um, in God's presence, uh, or in hell. People, and that God is in hell, present in hell. So, so you're never out of God's presence. God is everywhere. But, um, but you have to understand what it actually says, not what someone's told you it said. It doesn't say salvation. No, no, no. I'm just reading verse. the Bible, period. So it's not yeah, the Bible didn't say salvation. Did it say salvation in that verse? You know, no, it doesn't. Okay. But you know what, what trips me? Well, what I'm wondering, actually, not trips. Uh, what I'm wondering is <clears throat> if if baptism <clears throat> and receiving the Holy Spirit and ask forgiveness of your sins. If Jesus got baptized and received the Holy Spirit, you know, I don't know if you did that. I don't know if you believe in that or not. But if Jesus did it. Jesus did yeah, a lot of things that we're not going to do. He no, did a lot of do. things. Did you, exactly. Jesus walked on water. Can you walk okay. on water? I, actually, that might be the question. Have you been baptized? Jesus walked on water. Uh, yeah. baptism, Have you been the, baptized? The, ba- baptism, when I was a, yeah, when I was young, I, I, I grew up in a Baptist okay. church. We, we yeah. were baptized, <laughs> but that has nothing to do with yeah. anything. So Jesus, uh, the thief on the cross anything. never get, yeah, it has, it has nothing to do with salvation mm-hmm. or anything. It has nothing to do with receiving the Holy Ghost. But it's also um, good and to be baptized. The thief on the cross never it's got baptized. It's always a good thing to do. No, that it's well. not. No, it's not. But I think. I think. I, G- yeah, Paul said he sent me not no, to baptize. Important. No, it's not. I mean, if Paul said Jesus Christ sent me not to baptize. Like, like you know what Christian so, man, is, right? It's Christ followers. No, it's, man. I'm gonna do it's what just, Christ no. Is. Christian is you know, not that, Christ follower. That's what Christian is. No, man. Is. You're Christian, not, listen, yeah, you're not you're following you're Scripture. You're a follower of Christ. No, that's a Are disciple. Are you not a follower of Christ? That's a disciple. Christian is not a follower of Christ. A disciple is. You you don't know your it's, Scripture, it's, man. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, have that, to know the Word of God. That I, I, I disagree. You know what? But it's it's not about disagreeing. It's not about disagreement. Listen, listen. Christ did. Hey, I'm a hey, listen, them. I just, listen, you listen, know, that's something listen. different. I don't agree okay. on. Okay. All right, man, listen. We can't both talk at the same that, time. So. I know you don't agree with God's word. It's God's word. And no, so you, no, no, no. you just I don't know the God's word of God. Word. I don't agree with what you're saying about But well, where Christ. does it say Christian is a Christ follower? Where Period. does it say Christian is a Christ follower? What's in the scripture? Christian? You know what Christian means? Where does yes, in the scripture it tells you. What does it mean then? It doesn't mean Christ follower. 
Okay, so what does it mean to you then? It says the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Disciples okay. are Christ so, followers. <clears throat> okay, so, okay. So, let's, okay, now, you put that in terms. Okay, now, you saying that, that you, you, okay, when it comes to baptism and, and attending church, like That's Jesus not about did, what I'm saying. What know, does the Bible just, say? What you know, does the Bible that, say? Kind of makes me wonder. It's like, if Christ did it, if Christ, I'm going to do what Christ did. I you are? Well, can you walk on water? No, no, no. Can you turn that's, water that's, into wine? Not, 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 now, you're, now you're bringing things more out of the blue. That he that's did. These are things that. that he did. You know what? That, that, that's not even close. It not, is now you're close. Like exaggerating it's in more with It's not that. exaggerating. It's what now. Christ did. Well, he no, turned water into wine. Oh, did you walk on water? Did you that's what he wine? said. It no, is not in Scripture. How are you going to cherry pick? But also, if Christ went to church, I'm going to follow Christ. I'm going to do what he did. And that's Christ was a perfect man in the world, period. He's 100% God, 100% man. I'm a that's follow not how Christ, you get period. to heaven. You can follow Christ no, 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 no. all you, that's, all that's you the, want, but that's you're, not going to send you to heaven. You just focus on that. What I'm talking about because is... Because that's important. You know, it, it's just... It's, yeah, it's great to follow. It's great to believe. Believe is a huge and key. And that's great. But it's also that's how not you just be about saved. believing. Yes, you it know, is. People, to be anybody saved. can believe. No, I mean, yeah, anybody can believe. You're right. But not everyone does. someone in the world, for example. That anyone can, God, but not everyone you know, does. Anybody, see, but anybody. See, the problem is you talk me, and you don't listen. Get to heaven. See, you talk no, and you don't see, listen. That's, that's something. Well, you will listen on the day of that. judgment when we have. Yeah, when exactly. I remind when you Jesus of this Christ, conversation, when you hear that trumpet, you know, I mean, ooh, here we go. I will it's remind you of this conversation you know, on judgment day, and you will, and you will hear then. Period. You know, but what I'm saying is, I don't, I don't agree. You know, on certain things that you're saying, like, I no, I don't agree like, with what you're, like you're saying. I disagree with what the word that's, of God says. Don't fine. agree with you know, me. We, we agree with scripture, beliefs, but it's not opinions. different beliefs. It's about not opinions. It's, it's about no, the word well, of God. I think it is also because you don't. You it's don't about the word of God. Hey, hey, man, listen. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, that's fine. Listen, listen. I know that you are brainwashed by these pastors that you keep going asking. No, 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 no. But it's about what God's word says. The Bible does not say that. It does not say that. So that's yes, fine. You can think that. that. I'm sorry that you are not according to God's knowledge, and I'm okay. trying to educate you according to Scripture. I'm taking you to Scripture, and you just aren't listening. You don't have a heart to listen. You're not humble. You you talk over people, and that's okay, man, but you will remember this conversation on Judgment Day because I'll be there to remind you. Okay? <clears throat> okay? Okay? Yeah. All right, man. Well, good talk with you, no, man. I, I wish you well. I was just looking at my right. call. No, no, no. I was, I was just uh, looking at my call. But that's fine. I mean, yeah, that's what okay. you're saying. I, I understand and all that. Um, but all there's right. certain things that in the Bible that I, that I look at, not just believing, but as, as well as being baptized and being baptized yeah. in the Holy Spirit as well. Okay. And, and all right. Asking well, you for could be wrong. You could be wrong. And I would just yeah, say, no, I'm not saying, you know, okay, I'm just saying, well, what the Bible you, says, you know, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. well, the Bible doesn't say that, so you're wrong. The Bible doesn't say, you admit it doesn't say salvation in there. So if you believe in that it says that to be saved, you're going to hell, man, and I don't want that. So uh, if it doesn't say salvation, don't believe it for salvation. It doesn't say it. It's real simple. Okay. I read you, you know, scriptures I think of salvation. I think it's like you're solely focused on salvation uh getting to heaven which is good but i'm okay, totally focused just, on it, getting you to heaven i'm already or, getting going you know, to heaven it puzzles, it, it, no it puzzles, no no you're you know when the questions you asked in the beginning yeah it exactly just, it makes me it yeah that's great but the, the thing but is but if you're not getting to like heaven you're going to hell like this, it's like it's it's just anybody can believe in god they cannot believe in them. Some of those atheists. Uh, of they don't course, believe, anybody you know. can. So you, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. anybody can. But what I'm so saying what is like, what I'm saying is that I, I've met so many people that just that just say, I believe in God. Yeah, that's great. But look look what, it, look what that person is into. That person is nowhere near into. of following God. It's not no, about well, I, saying it, believing in God. It's believing in the gospel so of Jesus that Christ. Means if the whole world believes in God, they're going to go to heaven. Is that what you're saying? If you listen instead of just being, you know, no, you're one track just, minded. No, you don't listen. I mean, just, you, you don't listen. That's the problem listen. with you, man. No, you don't no, listen. I don't you, think you, 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 you try to force, you try to force that, a, that you, a view. No, I'm but listen, let me talk. Hey, let, man, that, that listen I, to I, me. I, hey, listen, you're going to respect me when a call. I let you talk. You're going to let me talk. You're not going to interrupt me. All right? 
Okay. So well, it's an it's equal respect. Like it's an equal respect. Mm-hmm. We don't have to agree, but well, you can is. listen to really me. Is. Yeah, exactly. So you can listen to me when I talk. I'm not going <laughs> to allow you to talk over me again, <clears throat> or else we can end the call. It's that simple. I respect okay. you. I listen to you. So you should listen to me. So, again, I'm talking about salvation. I'm not talking about walking a walk of God because we're created in his righteousness. He makes us Mm -hmm. righteous. It's not about what we do. Once we're saved, he makes us righteous. It's the works Mm -hmm. of God. We are his workmanship created unto Christ Jesus. Not us. It's not about us. So God makes us right. It's not. Yeah, it's all about him. Yeah, Yeah, so it's. So it's all about the salvation. You did not answer the, the the question according to Scripture. So that's why I'm asking you a Scripture. And from what your answer is, you're not saved. And I'm trying. I'm laboring with you to try to get you saved according to Scripture, not according to what you think a pastor has told you. Forget no, the I, I, of I never man. said what a pastor said to me. See, that's see, that's. I was, I'm sorry, but there you go. You said some things that that's just is totally, you can totally out of what everything. No. Well, what did what do you what you must you do to be saved? Pastor safe? told me. You yes. Know? No, but did, did I ever told? No. Did, did I specifically tell you? A pastor told me this and that. Did I say? That yes. Me? You told me. I that, did. When did yes. I say that? You said um, Billy Graham said this, and I live by this. Is he no, not a no, pastor? No. no, that was a different. That, you know, you're talking about just because <laughs> of one thing that I like. Billy you Graham asked said. me to give you an it's example. Not about what he said. You're it is about, what he, you just I'm said. It. The Bible. Now you're saying that a uh, pastor told me. No, I'm I'm reading the Bible. No, what what Bible it's, verse says that you have Bible. to be saved? What Bible verse says that you have to repent or have to walk according to Christ, be like Christ to be saved? What Bible verse? Give me one. No, I just gave you that Bible verse from Acts. Acts says I have That's to do that I'm to be saved. About. You admitted that Acts two three twenty eight did not say salvation in it. So give me a Bible verse that says salvation in it. Salvation. Yeah. Salvation. What must we do to be saved? I know I have any, but let me see here. I mean, it's not three twenty-eight, two thirty-eight. It didn't say it wasn't talking about salvation. It's talking about remission of sins. Here's one, First Peter one eight nine. Uh, okay. Though you have not seen him. Well, wait, let me turn there with you. Even one though second. you're not seen him. Hold on. Now, Hold on, man. You believe in him and are still hey, in the listen, in the I can't hear. I can't hear you. I'm trying to turn. So you, are so you said First Peter one eight nine. The result of your faith. What did you say? One eight and nine. What did you say? Hey, I can't hear huh? you. What did you say? First Peter one. Yeah, hold on. It's yeah, First Peter chapter one verses eight and nine. Okay. All right. I'm there. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So it says, though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him, which is, of course, and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. I like Peter as well. Peter's the greatest, the greatest guy in the, in, the, in the New Testament. The way he, he brought them things up, I like him. He's the greatest so, guy you know, in the New Testament. That scripture alone. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is. So that, 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 that alone right Well, that's there, not the King you know? James Bible, And first of all. So you're reading from a, a false King Bible. King James Bible, I believe yeah. it is. No, it's not. This is a King James. No, it is. It says, whom. No, it's no, not. It is. This is a King James. Whom having not seen. Ye love, mm-hmm. in whom, though now ye see him not, mm-hmm. yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of joy, receiving the mm-hmm. end of your faith, 
even the salvation of your souls. Okay, so what does that have so to do? Yes, yeah, the same what thing, but it, it's a different different wording. But the same thing of receiving. Hold on, somebody's just of um, what was the end of your faith? You know, it, there's there's scriptures where I can't get it up of my mind. I can't. It's not clicking right now of, of the scriptures. I memorize. I like to memorize some scriptures so I can put them out. But receiving is also a big part as well. It's not so much of believing, it is. Believing no. that you believing call upon is the Lord, believing. Call upon the Lord, you be saved. Yes, but it's also receiving the Holy Spirit. Receiving it didn't say receive about the Holy Jesus Spirit, Christ man. in your heart as Lord and Savior. Well, you, you yeah. added to it. You didn't say receiving the Holy no, Spirit. No, I'm not adding to it. I'm, look, there's, there's more scriptures that I can't even think of that talk about receiving. Receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Receiving it doesn't the Holy say Spirit. that, man. It doesn't, it folks, it doesn't say no, that. No, it doesn't say I'm that. Trying, I'm trying to find this scripture. Please find it. I'd rather hear God's words say that, not no, you I, say I, it. Because if you saying it, it just it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Let me hear God's words saying it. Why are you doing that? I gotta shoot off a couple of emails, and I am gonna wrap up soon because I'm I am working. But I want to take time to just share the gospel with you, man. You accountable before God, listening to this truth and what you do with it between you and God, and you will be accountable on Judgment mm-hmm. Day. So I'm just I'm just praying that you will yeah. believe. And it. it's also, you know, you don't attend church, which is that's your own thing, and there's certain of things course. that I don't believe on. So like what no I told you as church. well, it's like well. Like, you you know you have your beliefs and that's great, but it's that's also the not says. just so believing. But yeah, the no, Bible, it is. But it's also I, receiving but as well. It's come out from among them, be not unequally yoked. Show your unbelievers receive. You know, I can't even find. Uh, you know, say, say. Uh, you think attending a church is <laughs> is pleasing to God? It tells me without faith, it's impossible to please God. So you keep on going to attend the church to try to get God to be pleased. Now that you want God's approval, it says study to show thyself approved unto God. It, it, it doesn't say anything about attending a, a man-made church. So, man, you you just are scripturally off, and you you don't like to take correction. You gotta you gotta humble yourself to God's word, and then you'll see the truth of God. So, but man, hey, it was good talking with you, man. I gotta run. I got a lot of work I'm doing. Yeah, so, no, I'm glad I, uh, you were able to listen. Yeah. I like three missed calls. I don't know who the hell's calling me. I don't, I don't even know who in the world is. Cool. I, I don't even know who those numbers is. Yeah, it was great talking well, to you. I hope you answered um, the call. The call of God. Well, no, I obviously the call is missed. I just got to call him back. So, uh, yeah, well, it was great talking. Yeah, I say bless you. You know, do, do your thing. All right, I man. I appreciate more people. That's great, man. It's awesome. Awesome. Well, good, man. I wish you well. Send in your information. All right. Yeah, definitely. I got my All right, thing, so, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Later. Bye.